Hi everyone, Sue from Artcraft and Journals. Welcome back to my channel. Um, and today I am kind of continuing on with messing around with my uh, used baby wipes. Um, and this came about because when I did the last baby wipe um, project where I was making the flips, um, I was sitting there and I was, I don't know, just messing around and I was pulling at them. I think to, I was thinking of tearing them, but they don't tear very well. You can only tear in one direction. You can't tear sort of the other way. You can only sort of tear with the grain of the baby wipe. But what I noticed is I really liked this sort of rough um, edge to it. And I thought, you know, that, that kind of I like that texture, I like that look. Um, and I thought, you know, why leave them whole? Why don't I just start ripping them up and using bits of them? So what I did was, as you could see, I've cut bits out of this one. Um, so what I did, I started sort of pulling them apart um, and then I thought, well, how? what could I do with them? What could I make? So I have this roll of felt. Now it's quite stiff. So what I did was I cut some pieces off um, and I've cut uh, some pieces like this. And I also, this one was part of, where is it? This one here. And I just simply cut it so it's like a corner, corner tuck or something. Um, and then what I did was I placed the bits of wash um, baby wipes or on there just in pieces um, and then I also put little bits of fabric in there and this one you can see is actually acrylic paint so it's quite stiff but I kind of like that color and then what I have done is just some hand sewing um, in different directions in different colors to hold them down um, you can see I've got some little I think they're French knots and some just some crosses there so just random ones and as I've said before I do have this container full of colour cottons to use up. So I thought yep that's what I'm going to do. So here's another one. Uh, we've got baby wipe here. That's from the baby wipe. That's the baby wipe and then a bit of fabric here and a little bit of trim. So I thought that looked quite effective. And look these would be great in your journals for corner tucks and things. Uh, this one could be a belly band and again I've just cut out pieces of the baby wipe and there's a little bit of fabric on this one as well a little bit there and of course I've tried to tone them into the colors that are in the baby wipe so I thought I would do one um, just quickly to show you how I sort of go about it now you I've got the felt piece which is here um, you don't have to use the whole piece of baby wipe, it's up to you. I just placed that down to give me an idea. And then what I've got is some just some little bits of fabric to tone in with it. So we've got this piece here, which I think I'm going to put right in the middle. I'm going to have to trim it, so let's just have a look. Of course that now gives me another little piece to use somewhere. Right, we'll get rid of most of those for the moment. Now this is very, very scrunched up this particular piece. So just pin it down. Now, um, it's sort of blacks and purples. I've also got this other little bit of fabric, which I might just randomly put there. Sort of tones in as well. So that's it so far. Now I did also grab this out of my little scrap jar. That's a piece of doily, cut up doily, which I'm thinking I'll use. Um, but looking in my scraps, my baby wipes, I do have this one and I also have another one full. Um, I'm just looking. So I've got purples, black, so sort of those colours. Oh, hang on. Oh, that's a lovely colour. Oh, I love that one. Look at that. That's awesome. Not sure if you can pick up the colours, but I love that. Absolutely love that. Now, this one has that... This is acrylic paint, so it's quite stiff. Just thinking, will that... That might look all right. Well, it tones in with that. So, what I'm going to do is I'm going to cut this piece. And I'm just randomly cutting it. 
could try and tear it but I think it's probably easier to cut especially if you want the exact shape and that's going to go over here I think just pinning that down it is a little hard to sew or pin through the acrylic but you can do it I'm just going to get that off there now what else I'm thinking that I might try I'd actually try to get that so it curves around somehow it may end up that way anyway when I sew it <laughs> trying to get them straight isn't always easy okay try and pin that in place so you know you can just add bits and pieces to it um, now I didn't tear that one all these ones I sort of did tear them to get them onto there just sort of so they've got those frayed edges I'm not sure if you can see that but yeah um, okay uh, what else have we got you can see this one's a little bit uh, used um, no, don't really like that. And look, obviously I've only got a small selection of what I've got <laughs> in my cupboards and things. But, um, you know, you can grab as much stuff out as you like. Uh, I think we might just leave it at that for the moment. And look, it's really great because even little pieces like this, you can sew them on. You know, it's good. Okay, I'm using purple thread because that's what I had out. Um, I use, I do double it up because I, part of the um, charm of it, I guess, is that you can see it. Um, now, let me think. Now, you can sew this in layers if you like as well. You can actually sew the background on first and then sew these over the top. That's entirely up to you. Uh, I'm thinking what I might do is go across. And I'm not going to sew that top one. I'm going to leave that till the last. Ouch. Now I'd like to get that a little bit higher if I can. You can stretch it a little bit too, I've noticed. I kind of like the randomness of these ones. To me they're sort of a little bit more arty than the last batch I did. Now I'm going to try to catch out part of this uh, white doily. I'm not sure whether it's these threads or how I'm sewing them but they do tend to knot up a lot too uh, now I'm just going to skim across the back here by that I mean I'm just catching the one layer of felt I might take that off for the moment Right across there. And you could just simply go up and down if you like. I do prefer to watch from the front when I'm doing it though, because then I can at least try and get the front straight. You will notice that I do turn it upside down and um, when I'm sewing too because I do prefer to sew from right to left. I find it harder to sew the other way. I don't know if that's just me or whether that's just a typical thing. I don't know. Never really thought about it. I 
hope everybody is well. I'm good at the moment. <laughs> Not too many aches and pains. Um, weather's been a little bit cooler, so sleeping's been a lot easier. Which is always nice. Our weather's oh, still a little erratic though. Very windy, rainy, then hot, and rainy again. I guess that's what they mean when they say climate change. Because um, it's certainly different to when I was growing up. I think the days are hotter. I mean, I, we don't get as much rain as we used to when I was a child. Right now, I'm actually up to that point where we've got the other little bit of fabric. So what I'm going to do is I'm going to stop there. I'm going to back stitch. And I'm going to get myself some more cotton. I'm going to get a different colour. Um, let's see, see if I've got any of the stronger pink. Yep, definitely good. Really funny, I was thinking the other day, these cottons, I'm anxious to use them up because I've got so much of them, or so many of them. But then on the same token, because I'm using them, or trying to use them all the time, I'll probably get used to using them, and then when they have run out, I'll have to go out and buy some because I'm used to using them, if that makes any sense at all. Alright, um, okay, I'm going to start down here. And I'm actually going to go what would be vertically. And of course you can vary the length of your stitch as well. You can do larger ones if you want or you can do sort of more smaller delicate ones. You can also um, do more decorative stitches. Um, do some um, chain stitches chain stitch or maybe some couching something like that it's up to you you could actually do your basic sort of um, running stitch to tie to put everything down attach everything and then um, just do some sort of embellishing I guess with more fancy stitches it depends on how much time you want to spend on each one, I guess. And of course the whole thing with slow stitching is that it's supposed to be relaxing. Um, I must admit, even though I like doing it, I still like to finish things fairly quickly. I still like to get them done. I have still got my quilt to do. It's it's sitting there and um, I will get to it. It's just one of those things I see as more of a winter project than a, a, than a summer project. Maybe because I guess you see, when you, you're stitching you kind of get a bit sweaty and you know in the heat so it's I don't know not something I enjoy doing in summer particularly. In fact, it's, you know, because it has been a little bit cooler, that's, I guess, why I sort of started doing these. If you're using a, um, them as embellishments, I guess it doesn't matter what the back looks like particularly. But um, if you were fussed about the back, you could then put some paper on or something like that. Okay, so you can see I've gone horizontally with purple thread. It's a little tricky to see. And then vertically with the fuchsia or the hot pink. So now I'm going to go back to the light purple and continue with that. 
and as you can see I have um, grabbed that and put it and sewn it along as I've gone um, across. You could actually sew that again with a, a different thread on top as well if you weren't um, you know if you weren't too happy with how that was sitting. Now I will speed this a little bit up I think. when I do the editing of the video. <laughs> I don't mean right now. <laughs> Although I am trying to sew a little bit quicker. <laughs> I must admit when I do speed the, the videos up, when I'm editing, I do have a bit of a chuckle to myself and think, wow, imagine if I could actually craft that quick. Look how many things I would get finished be quite nice I think. Not that it's all about getting as much finished as you can but sometimes it would be nicer to achieve more in a shorter period of time. You know quite often I'll start a project thinking oh it's only a little project and um, you know hours have gone by you think oh wow Okay, now I'm not going to sew over that. I'm going to do that separately. So, yeah, so, um, yeah, sometimes I think, wow, well, I've just spent, you know, I've just sat here for two hours and I've only finished a couple of things. But that's crafting. And of course there's never enough hours in your day to do your crafting. Never. I can't possibly be the only person who thinks that it would just be awesome just to spend your whole day crafting every day. I mean there are just so many projects to do. So many. And of course you watch YouTube and you see more projects and you get more inspiration and you know. <laughs> I mean, every time I watch something, there's always something new I've learned or something else that I'd love to try. Constantly. Okay. Now, now I've got to attach that down properly because it's a bit loose there. Um, now this one here, I'm just thinking what other colour. Now you can you can use one that contrasts or you can use one that blends in or one that's sort of a little bit more neutral with the colour. I guess I kind of like it so it stands out but not a contrast. So I'm just thinking I could have that colour. Um... The pink's not quite right. No. No, I think I might do that one. And I'm just simply going to go right around the edge of it. And it's a new one, so I've got to find the end. Sometimes it's easy. Other times I've ended up having just to cut the threads just to get it started. that didn't work at all. Take two. It's a conspiracy. Does not want to be sewn. Alright. Now I'm actually going to take the pin out because I know it will annoy me. And I'm just simply going to go around the square. Okay, and it wasn't a square, it was actually a rectangle. But you know what I mean. Alright, easy peasy. Okay, so 
Now, I'm happy with that except for this bit, and I think it needs something there. Oh, I did. I had this bit, didn't I? Yes. And I'm going to use this thread for that as well. I'm just going to go around the shape. Okay, now I just went around the shape and then I put some extra crosses there just to use up the cotton I had. Now I'm going to attach this down a little bit better, particularly as this end's still loose. So I'm just looking at what other colour I could use. I could use a green because there's a greeny colour in there, but mm, no. I, got any more. I might use the grey actually. Yep, I'm going to use grey. I'm pretty sure I won't get many opportunities to use the grey, so I will try to use it now. And of course it's new. And I cannot find the end. It is quite nice having all these colours, I must admit. And this is where you can actually shape this to go wherever you'd like. Now I'm simply just stitching over the top. So coming up one side and going back down the other. So that I'm just catching it as I'm going. And this is where, as I said, you can move it where you want to, um, to catch it. Obviously, if there's any bits that you think might um, come loose or unravel, then just give them a little bit of extra sewing on top of them, just to hold them down. Now, I'm going to sort of cheat a little bit here. Because I've already sewn this bit down here, I'm actually going to skirt along the back. Because I don't really need to sew it twice. You can if you want, obviously, but so there's that. And that, and look, you can keep adding bits and pieces to it as well. You know, you just keep going and stop when you're happy with it. All right, I might make a couple more. If um, I finish them, I will put them as pictures at the end of the video. But um, hope you found some inspiration with that. Um, and thank you very much for joining me. I'll see you next time. Bye for now.